Big exciting news today as Jerome Powell, Federal Reserve Chair, and Steve Mnuchin, head of the Treasury, appeared before a House subcommittee and urged for a passage of extended unenhanced unemployment benefits. Wow. Um, this came as really great news <laughs> to you, uh, us, me, and another group of people. The senators are facing unemployment if they don't vote for the bill as well. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. This is LL8 with a second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today. And boy, it's exciting, great news on a day where there's exciting developments about unemployment, FPUC, LWA, and more. This is the afternoon's LL8 that starts every day with 3.30 with the check, our two-hour programming block, then goes to hazard pay, then this video. And then 30 minutes from now is rent. We have exciting, great news about unemployment benefits. And you're only going to hear this today on this channel, where I'm going to focus on something which I haven't done for a while, and that is getting you more money under what's called escalated benefits. I'm also going to be touching on the issue of uh, running out of benefits because I've gotten that comment about 50 times in the last 24 hours in private. So let me get to the incredible great news about what happened today. This is really exciting. I'll be going over the comments, then I'll be going over the situation about LWA, then I'll be going over escalated benefits, getting you more money, and then I'll be answering some of your 592 questions from yesterday's video. All right, here's the breaking news. The breaking news is that Jerome Powell, Chairman of the Federal Reserve, and Steve Mnuchin, uh, Treasury Secretary to Donald Trump appeared before a congressional subcommittee today, the House, led by Maxine Waters here from California, and they said we need more enhanced unemployment benefits. They feel that if we don't have it, they're not sure what's going to happen with the economy. Uh, they said that, they're, that it's needed, and these are really quite positive remarks. Um, when asked if we don't have it, Powell says, I don't really know what will happen. Um, but Mnuchin says, uh, the president and I, remind, and I remain committed to providing support for American workers and businesses. We believe a targeted plan is still needed and the administration is ready for a bipartisan agreement. So this was really positive news. This comes on the push of the purple power, the spirit of this community, the viewers of this community, 265,000 now strong, hitting on social media really hard yesterday and need to do it again today, tagging the problem solvers, tagging the blue dogs, tagging the new age Democrats, and sharing this video and saying, hey, you need to pass the bill. Vote the bill, pass the bill. The problem solvers bill is the bill you want. Let's go over that right now. It does exactly what you want with the exception of one item, and we can fix that. 450. Mm -hmm. 450 for eight weeks, which is insanely good because no Republican has ever given you more than $400. Uh, the last offer from Steve Mnuchin was $400 in the White House. 450 for eight weeks and then five weeks at $600. Now, there's another additional calculation to that, but I'm not going to go into that on this video because it's just too complicated. So that's an insanely great offer. That's exactly what you want. First, the thing that also is great about it is it does not have that $100 threshold from LWA, which is just screwy. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't apply to you. If you do know what I'm talking about, you know exactly why it's good news. It doesn't have it in there. The second thing that it needs to, that's at issue, and this is the thing that needs to be fixed, is it's not retroactive. <laughs> Darling, Darling, what were you thinking? You have to have retroactive. I was just... It's a mistake. It's a mistake because the benefits period of this plan starts in October. Why are you starting in October? What's October? Uh, it, it doesn't work for a lot of reasons. One, if you did not qualify for LWA, that means you get no enhanced unemployment benefits from late July. That's August, September. That's 10 weeks or so. 
uh, at 450 that's $4,500 you're cutting people out of? No, 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 darling. We don't do that. Uh, the other reason that doesn't make sense is because, well, if people were on LWA, so what's the problem? It's just a, a bridge. Just pay them the, the difference of 450 minus 300. You just pay them 150 for those for those 10 weeks. 150 times, you know, 10 weeks is not a lot of money uh, to make the bridge. Just do it. Do it retroactive. So what you need to be doing is being on social media and tagging them and saying, hey, I'm part of the Purple Power community, hashtag Purple Power. We support you, but you need to do it retroactive. And we need to push the vote. Push the vote because we are a very strong, vocal, and loud group. And we need to get it to a vote. Doing nothing is going to get us nothing. And the more you heat the discussion, the more you do it. Now, there are two other things you need to do, which is also tag the president. Said the president, hey, you need to do this by executive order. I'm not going to forget that I've told you, I've told you that the president can do stimulus check and FPUC 2.0 by executive order. Should do it and should have done it. And it's getting to the point now, we're getting very close to the point at which I'm going to say, hey, you either do it now, sir, Mr. President, or this channel is going to take a political position and it's not going to be good for you. Because it, when you have the authority to do executive order and do stimulus and send out this money and you're not doing it, there's something wrong. And you know what's wrong about it, even more compound, is that if you watch the first video on Afternoons LA today, Larry Kudlow used the exact verb which I have been using for over a week, repurpose, repurpose. Larry Kudlow identified money from PPP sitting around. Who's been saying that to you for two weeks? Yeah, money from PPP sitting around that can be repurposed for other purposes that the president could do by executive order. Okay, so Kudlow has confirmed what I've been reporting to you for two weeks exclusively. The bottom line is the president has done it. So at some point we have to say, what's going on, Mr. President? You don't do it. I'm not giving you my vote. <laughs> spoiler. Uh, spoiler. So there we are. So you got to get on social media and tag them. Now, this is what's happening across the country for LWA before I get to FPUC 1.0 escalated benefits as I try to show you more money. Um, the six weeks program of LWA is basically uh, nearing the end. Uh, the This is what's happening. Nine states, Alabama, Arizona, Idaho, Massachusetts, Missouri, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Texas, and Utah have finished paying the $300 a week enhanced unemployment benefits up to date. So in those states, you should have received the $1,800. Um, no more money coming for enhanced unemployment benefits. You're going to get your normal benefits, but not the $300. Others, like North Carolina, Tennessee, are posed to finish the remainder uh, in the next couple of days. Other states, like Florida, are a hot mess express unto themselves. They did not apply for six weeks. They applied for less. Um, so you got weeks, but you didn't get six of them. All right, let me turn to escalated benefits. Uh, you know, the speed of this channel is to get people money. Um, the very first day that this channel launched, my videos were about getting people money. And the very first day of this channel was covering PUA, which had not gone live. I was detailing PUA before anyone else even talked about it. Even people didn't know what it was. I was like, there's this thing coming called PUA. What? Yeah, I'm like, there's this thing coming called PUA. You need to apply for it. So I was explaining how to apply for it and how to get the money. And I got people a lot of money, $20,000, $15,000, $10,000, because I told them how to apply and I told them how to do other things. Today, I'm going to tell you more as well. Have you done escalated benefits? What's escalated benefits? Let me explain to you right now. Escalated benefits means more benefits per week than your normal benefits that they pay. For example, in California, the base level benefits when you start unemployment where the GUI PUA is about 167 per week. Base level benefits, entry level benefits, whatever you want to call it, like the base level of a car, you know, the, the, the stock car, 167 a week approximately. Escalated benefits is, is an amount higher than that. It's higher. Maximum benefits is the ceiling, the most you can go up to. Have you gotten that? You haven't. Okay, so let's go over this. Uh, if you go on Google and you type in your state and you type in 
maximum benefits unemployment or something like that. It'll come back with a page, a website that'll show every single state and it'll show the maximum weekly unemployment benefits state by state. Some states pay a lot of money. Some states pay very little money. In the Northeast, some states are upwards of 450 a week as maximum benefits. In the other states, it's very low. It's $200 or something maximum benefits. But it's a big difference from minimum benefits, which could be as low as $90 a week. How do you get this? And do you qualify? This is something that I did very early on in the very first videos of this channel. I've done it a lot of times, but I haven't done it lately. So I want to go over it with you right now. This applies to you if you're on PUA or UI. First, let's go over eligibility. No, let's first go over the number. The number means that you may qualify for maximum benefits in your state. Maximum benefits can be upwards of $400 a week. And if you're getting $100 a week, when you could have gotten $400 a week, that's a difference of $300 a week for every week that you've been paid retroactively. Yeah, they do this. They do this. And so how much money is this? Well, if you're into this thing now called the pandemic and you're on your 12th week, let's say you're on the 20th week of benefits, 20 weeks times $300 a week? Duh, yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> that's what I do. Uh, so how do you get this and do you qualify for it? Okay, so let me go over, do you qualify for it? There's a general perception that of a financial threshold of where it is. Generally, I've reported that if you made about $30,000 or more gross revenue in 2019, you qualify for maximum benefits. Remember, this is gross revenue. So this is not after deductions. This is not after expenses. This is just how much you're, you brought in before you started deducting stuff. The, basically line one of your tax return. If it was over $30,000 generally, you're at maximum benefits. That's you. You get that money. Okay, what if you're not at 30000 What if you're at 20-something thousand or 21000 or 12000 or 11000 Okay, you may still qualify for escalated benefits, but not maximum benefits. Somewhere between where you are now and somewhere to the maximum, somewhere in the range. It's hard to say what the number is. You just really don't know. The stake will tell you. Yeah. So how do you get this? So the way you get this is you need to get your 2019 tax return. You need to put it on your computer. You need to convert the tax return to PDF format, PDF. You don't have the ability to convert it. Well, there's online tools that you can upload the document. It'll convert it for you for free. Then save it in your computer when you have a download copy of your 2019 tax return in PDF format. Then you need to go on your computer, write a letter. And the letter's going to be to uh, unemployment assistance program of your state. Dear unemployment assistance, uh, by the way, don't talk about me. <laughs> LLA told me. No, this is not how you start. I'm not that well known. Sorry. Uh, the guy in the purple shirt told me. No, no. <laughs> you start with yourself. I have nothing to do with this. Uh, the I, I'm telling you that because people actually do do this. <laughs> they do mention my name. It's just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Brad Pitt told me to know. Is, come on. I'm not calling myself Brad Pitt, but you know. Anyway, let's get back to the subject. So start the letter saying, Dear Unemployment Office, um, I'm inquiring to see whether I qualify for maximum benefits uh, based upon my 2019 earnings. Here's a copy of my tax return. I'm currently being paid minimum benefits or entry level benefits or base level benefits of whatever, 167 a week. Um, I, I've looked up and I, it appears that maximum benefits in our state is whatever. And can you please take a look at my 2019 tax return and see if I qualify for escalated benefits? My tax return is attached as, uh, to this letter. Thank you so much. Signed, uh, yours truly. And you send it off. How do you send it? This was the biggest question back in the day. Oh, my God. Uh, it was really a big problem. Some states have the ability to upload documents in their portal where you're going in certifying for benefits. They have a place to upload documents. Other states don't. And California was one of them back in the day. Uh, so what I always told viewers was print out the letters and send it priority mail, you know, 
eight dollars or something with a with a receipt of mailing, and and then hope they get it, and then call them in a couple days. That's what you gotta do. If you do that, and you know you qualify, you you know how much you made in two thousand nineteen. You'll get thousands and thousands of dollars. And if you've not done it, don't worry. It still is retroactive. So if you are at week whatever, it goes back. It absolutely goes back. There's no discretion of, there's no dispute about that. It goes back. All right, let me do number of weeks of benefits before I get to some of your um, 592 questions from yesterday. Number of weeks of benefits. I'm getting this question a lot. Uh, first of all, PUA. If you start a PUA in March, which you could you could have not have started PUA earlier than March because it did not exist. It was great in March. You're not running out of benefits of PUA. I, just, I say this all the time. There's 30 something weeks of PUA benefits and we're not anywhere near 30 weeks yet. So that's the first one. UI. If you started UI during this pandemic or because of this pandemic and you started in March or anywhere after that, you're not running out of UI either. Again, a lot of people say, I just started, you know, unemployment in, in April. I'm running out. You can't be running out now. I, I, it's very confusing why people are saying this. Let me explain to you this detail. And if someone drops in the comments this, uh, that they're running out, the spirit of this channel is to help one another. So if you know the answer, because if you watch this video now and you're at the 15-minute mark and you stay tuned and you stay to hear this, answer the person's question for me if well, if I don't if I don't answer it for them. Uh, you first have your normal weeks of benefits, your normal UI weeks of benefits. Then you have F P E U C. That's F P E U C. That was created on CARES Act 1 that gave you additional weeks of benefits. Then most states have extended state benefits, an additional a series of, of weeks on top of that. So some people are looking at this very first prong and saying, I'm running out of weeks. So you can't if you just started in March. If you started before March, okay, well, um, have you looked at FPUC? Have you looked at the uh, no? Because there's no way in hell that if you just went on benefits, just a couple, you know, in the uh, since the spring that you're running out of weeks. Absolutely, categorically not. Um, so if you know the answer and you see someone answering asking that question, drop in the comments below. Let me go over some of your final ninety-two questions from yesterday. Uh, we start with Mary. <laughs> we need to put down the dragon fire, and these people get them moving. D. Smith, we need more than a one-time people payment for four that they're getting 450 600 on fpuc can't get unemployment benefits and the one on ssi barely surviving sean johnson um and unemployment benefits should be retroactive to where it ended amen tracy uh purple pistols <laughs> heather zanister say goodbye to the holidays no money no holidays jackie martin hello la the purple power family hope everyone's doing good hello jackie martin always viewing this channel canthu shanui we all need retroactive amen gloria i just want to hear the checks are in the mail um alicia Hey, Purple Family, let's make it retroactive. Sharon, I really like my government, but they made it so hard. Wayne, we're still not dealing with the issue of stimulus. Um, oh, yes, we are. Carla, hey, LA, here's an idea. Feed the temple doom to the hungry dragons. Tamara, I guess we got our next scandal. The tra dragons are going hungry. Dragons going hungry. Dragons going hungry. Melody Wolf, thank you for your encouragement, LA. I'm one of your constituents. You six powerful words with the legislature. We're now, we are not powerless. I love that, Melody Wolf. Lisa McKenney, we can drink Long Island and iced teas. How about that? Web, Lenora Web. Uh, procrastinators, do they really think we forgot that they neglected us? I think they do. I think they think you can, they can push you under the carpet and then we'll forget about them. Mountain, McConnell had no vote for stimulus until after the election, so why are we even bothering? They don't care. Um, no, we don't do that, Mountain. We don't repeat what uh, he said that we're not going to do. We don't do that on this channel. That's not the spirit of the purple power. Judy Anderson, I think it's been, it's they're get, taking too long. Jamil, we love you, LA, the Temple of Doom. I hope we get it this week. Ruby Alexander. Uh, Mitch can forget about being reelected. I wouldn't vote for him if it if he paid me. I love that, Ruby. Dream Weaver is a longtime viewer. Good afternoon, LA. You're the dragon tamer. I love that. Um, if you have questions in today's video, drop in the comments below. Go to the front of this channel and subscribe. This is the best darn channel on the net that has literally done an unemployment video every single day since April 
25th. I mean, who else has done and, and dedicated time like this for you, answering your questions, trying to ensure that you get your benefits, trying to ensure that you apply correctly, trying to ensure that you got the money. Um, people can say that things are just about stimulus checks. We're not just about stimulus checks. We're about FPUC and rent, uh, hazard pay. We try EIDL, EIDL, and we're trying to get you a lot of money, and this is the spirit of this community. So subscribe. Also like this video because this was the best video you're going to hear. Uh, probably the only video you're going to hear because no one else is doing a good video about unemployment today. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, stay focused, and stay in LA for more.